Buddy Cassidy has been suffering from Duchenne muscular dystrophy since birth. The 26-year-old literature buff and Shakespeare fan needs a scooter to get around because the disease, which is genetic, attacks the muscles. I have bad days and I have good days and, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes I'm a little angry. Scientists are now exploring new ways to treat inherited diseases like Cassidy's. In labs across the country, they're working with a new tool that can precisely edit genes inside living cells. It's a genome editing tool called CRISPR-Cas9, and it's being described as a game changer. I like to call it a molecular scalpel for cells. It allows scientists to make a very precise change in the DNA of a cell or organism that could do something like correct a mutation that would otherwise cause disease. Jennifer Doudna, a molecular biologist at UC Berkeley, was one of the scientists who developed it. It's a technology that just allows a level of precision that we haven't had in the past. Now it's being used in laboratories across the country in plant and animal research. Scientists have their eye on using it for everything from coming up with cures for blood disorders like sickle cell disease to combating antibiotic resistant superbugs. At this laboratory outside Washington, scientists are using it on zebrafish to knock out genes that cause deafness. The technology is moving very fast. It's uh, almost every scientist is interested in the, the, the concept of genome engineering has shifted to using these techniques because they, they work so well. Harvard University scientists are even using the tool on mosquitoes with dreams of eliminating malaria. But the rapid embrace of the technology also has scientists concerned. Just because we can build a CRISPR gene drive to spread a trait through the wild population does not mean that we should. A top concern, editing so-called germline cells, meaning human sperm, eggs, and embryos, where DNA changes could then be passed down from one generation to the next. A permanent change to the DNA of the cell is, is uh, something that you, know, you can't easily go back and reverse. With clinical trials likely before long, the National Academy of Sciences will host a critical conference in December to focus on the technology's future. I would like to see a consensus built around how we should handle the challenges posed by CRISPR and other potentially extremely powerful technologies relating to biology. The Academy plans to issue a report next year. You know, While there's like no guarantee movie, about what the gene editing tool could do for those suffering from muscular dystrophy, <laughs> just hearing about the scientific <laughs> progress gives Cassidy and so his family morning, comfort. Like to be able to say that your child has this, but we can do something to fix it, <laughs> can't even describe that feeling and hope that for future generations. Ned Barker, the Associated Press.